USA Radio News with Robin Walensky. Very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. President Trump answers reporters' questions at a Made in America event at the White House. The president tweeting over the weekend, AOC, and Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, Rashida Tlaib, and Ayanna Presley should go back and help fix the totally broken and crime-infested places from which they came. But do you think the tweets were racist? Now the four progressive lawmakers holding a news conference on Capitol Hill, AOC telling reporters... Weak minds and leaders challenge loyalty to our country in order to avoid challenging and debating the policy. You're listening to USA Radio News. To the aftermath now of Barry. Much of the southern portion of the state is still experiencing heavy rainfall and that could lead to flash flooding. Uh, and we're at an elevated risk for tornadic activity. In Louisiana, Democratic Governor John Bell Edwards holding a news conference thanking President Trump for his help. Well, I thanked him for the help that he gave us in terms of the request that I made for a pre-landfall declaration of emergency. He signed off on that re- declaration within hours of receiving the request, so I thanked him for that. I thanked him for the folks from FEMA who were on the ground. We already had search and rescue teams from Texas. We had commodities flowing into Louisiana, and so we knew that the assistance that we would need for this storm uh, was, was on the way, and, and that was very helpful. Taking a look now at your money, on Wall Street, the Dow gaining 27 points to close at 27,359. The NASDAQ up 14 points, and the S&P 500 up half a point. This is USA Radio News. The Attorney General Bill Barr speaks out against anti-Semitism and racism. USA Radio's Tim Berg reports. Attorney General Bill Barr calls himself deeply concerned about the rise of hate crimes in the past decade. And this trend has included a marked increase in reported instances of anti-Semitic hate crimes. Opening a summit at the Justice Department on Monday, Barr says the nation must firmly reject such crimes and the motivations behind them. He also has a message for the Jewish community. I want to assure the Jewish community that the Department of Justice and the entire federal government stands with you and will not tolerate these attacks. Barr also calls anti-Semitic hate crimes a cancer. For USA Radio News, I'm Tim Berg. While many, many Amazon customers enjoying deep discounts on Prime Day, some workers at the company staging a walkout. USA Radio's Chris Barnes with the story. The employees staging the one-day strike work at an Amazon fulfillment center in Minnesota. They say that workers want more changes that would benefit them, like converting more temps to full-time employees and easing up on productivity quotas. This woman says they can't keep up with them, and it's causing people to quit. I started out with a really large group of about 70 workers, and I think there are only about five of us left. And that was a year and seven months ago. Last year, the retailer Giants workers did get a pay increase, bumping their starting rate up to $15 an hour. For USA Radio News, I'm Robin Walensky.